here. Uh, the kids are out of school, so today we're going to show you how to enjoy the summer to the max without having to spend a lot of time cooking meals. You know how I feel about cooking meals and feeding the family. So with that said, please welcome my guys, our three chefs, Devin Rodgers. Yeah. Okay, so summer comes around and I think that everything should be easier and everything actually is easier. Marriage is easier, parenting is easier, <laughs> fitness is easier. It needs to be easier in the kitchen and so that's why, Dev, we are going to start with your first recipe, yes. which is... We're doing a chicken tikka, also known as chicken tikka, chicken yes. tikka lettuce wrap. Amazing. So it's something that anybody can make can at home. It's yeah. super fun and super coming? simple. And what we're going to start with is start by making Pardon. our marinade for it, okay? Let's do it. These gentlemen on the right that are hustling over there, yes. they're, right hustling to make, right to they're hustling to make a mint sauce. Okay. In All that right. mint sauce is going to go uh, some mint, some parsley, some green onion. Mm -hmm. We're going to add honey and yogurt and lemon juice and salt. Nice. This is all going to be on the website. You don't have to memorize this. Yeah. This will be on CityLine's website. Yep. And uh, when you blend all this together, you get a really fresh cooling mint sauce that can go with this dish, but a, a plethora of other recipes. It's plethora. fresh and it's vibrant. Yes. It's a good one, eh? Stuff, right? hey, yeah. Is it going to be like, is it a hot recipe, yeah. which is why you need sort of a cooling that's sauce yeah, you, actually, you actually it. nailed it. That's exactly, it. That, that's exactly so, why uh, it is a spicy dish. However, okay. that, at home... No, wait a second, let them finish this. <laughs> However, at home... Okay, come on down here. Too. We don't know your own thing yet. Okay. However, at home, yeah, you guys are just going, you may control the heat amount. So yeah. first thing we need to do is I'm just going to push some chicken thigh off. Oh, yeah. You can use chicken breast if you want, but unless you're cooking it to 65 degrees internal temperature, don't bother. Right. Okay, go with thigh. It's going to be more tender. Mm -hmm. We're going to add in a good teaspoon of turmeric into here. So what about flavor? Mm. Flavor. What about flavor on the it's side? It's correct. Side. I do. Way better. There's a, there's oh, a lot yeah. better flavor. It is subjective. You know, everyone likes to have um, everyone likes to have a chicken breast, but yeah, the thigh is. Yeah, those, I grew up with thigh. There's too, some people right? yeah, that are wrong. Too. As, okay. a, as a little guy. Actually, yeah. thigh's cheaper too. Not everybody's right. All, all that That's yogurt cheaper. for you. Why not? Okay, so back on track. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Continue. Chick chicken tikka. We have turmeric. We have yogurt. Yeah. I have cumin seeds. Okay. Okay. That's exactly 63 cumin seeds. Okay. <laughs> and then next into that, we are going to add in some chili powder. Okay. That is four fifths of a teaspoon. Four fifths. Yeah. Go to the oh, website. Man. Go, go to the website. TV. Well, this is how we cook, though. I don't go measure anything else. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Shaky, shaky. This are is there. a very key ingredient. This is called ginger garlic paste. It's a okay. pillar. It's a martyr in Indian cuisine. Yeah. And this is 60 40 in favor of ginger, okay? This okay. is critical. If you don't blend it up, it's just not going to disperse as well through the dish, okay? Okay. So, All again, right. We're looking Ginger's for so 1.3 teaspoons of ginger garlic. That's totally <laughs> And then, yes, yes. in addition to that, we have to add salt. Yeah. And also fenugreek. This is uh, methi. Mm -hmm. Fenugreek, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sweet, nutty. It's celery-ish, oh, maple -y. If you don't have this, don't make my recipe. <laughs> okay? So that no goes in there. No substitutions. So now, that's with, the, with the space that I have here around yeah. the chicken, you'll see this start to come together. And it should go kind of yellowish. Red. These guys are they doing it right? Away. Yeah. We don't want to be in the weeds over here. He doesn't here. trust us. I don't know what's going on. They're doing their own thing. Fortunately, yeah. I made some this morning, back. so we'll use that uh, one. Okay. Uh, you see that color that we get now? Beautiful. Beautiful, stunning color. This is something that you're going to want to let marinate for how long? Overnight. Overnight, yeah. If you only have four, four or five hours to marinate it, again, don't make my don't recipe. Don't do it. Compress it. No, I'm you kidding. You want the flavor to no, get in there. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You want the flavor to permeate right through this, and uh, you'll see the color change. Yeah. Even through the uh, the top of the skin. Leave it for as long as you can. That's so, it. are we doing this on the? Mm -hmm. We're doing it on the fake grill. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, so, so, we would do this on the barbecue. So, chi so chicken thicka is the base for butter chicken, and mm -hmm. the way this dish came about is that they were making chicken thicka in the tandoor, and you mm -hmm. get that really nice color, and then they added it to a tomato butter gravy. That's oh. how you get butter chicken in New Delhi. Uh, so this one is, uh, needs, so the more color you get on it, the better. So okay. I'm going to drop this down on our fake grill, but I actually yeah. don't quite like this. And now to make this lettuce wrap, we're using Boston bib lettuce, which yeah. is amazing. You could use iceberg or, 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 or the romaine, but I find that this is the best. You just don't always find this. Iceberg mm. tends to it's crack perfect perfect when you pick it up. It's very wet. Mm -hmm. yes. And then romaine is actually a nice romaine boat, but for Caesars and stuff, it's good. I just prefer the cuteness of this. This just feels like yeah. a pastoral. Yeah. It's yeah. circular. Yeah. So romaine like, is yeah. more pointy. And it bends so a little bit. It fits in the palm. Yeah. So, so, this, so this is what we're using. So we have the mint sauce here. If you're at home, I would just add a little bit more yogurt to it, but I know you only have so much. I know you only have so much. Wrong. No, it's okay, it's okay. Flavor <laughs> wise, there. No, but chef, this is perfect. cooking, though, right? You have to keep okay. doing things over and over. Repetition right. is the key to everything. We but you want it nice. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. But you want to add a little bit of yogurt. A little bit more yogurt in here. Did you add salt? 
I like a lot of salt. Salt is in So there. this is what we're gonna get. I want to talk about this tamarind glaze that goes on top of this Let's dish do as it. well, okay? Tamarind because what happens in here, this is date and tamarind. So I cover date, this Ooh. recipe will be online. Mm -hmm. Dates, I cover them with a bit of hot water and I yeah. simmer them and I poach them. Then I add equal parts tamarind glaze and you blend it and strain it. And then you get this sweet, sweet and sour explosion mm. that would taste good on a piece of cardboard if you ate it, okay? Yeah, it's it's, un it's unbelievable. So this goes everywhere. We also top this with crispy sev, which is over here. Well, let's we were build, talking about let's build one yeah. based on uh, let's build one. these so gonna, guys so that you cooked so, already. So these, I made it all pretty, but Devin portion, Devin gets a whole thigh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then what we're going to Right on. Devin's greedy like that. <laughs> Devin's hungry like that. <laughs> Tamarind glaze on top. We're yeah. going to come over here and we're going to add mint sauce. Yes. And we're going to add a little bit of this crispy sev. And lastly, just for fun, we're yeah. going to add a slice of grilled pear on top, okay? Oh, oh. what a babe. Yeah. Can Beautiful. you tell me again what that, that stuff Beautiful. is? Uh, this is crispy sev. It's crispy chickpea. It goes through an extruder and it oh. changes lives. Oh, it does change lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. My so life is better. This is definitely <laughs> an easy summer meal. <laughs> Go ahead, taste some, chefs. Go on, yeah. have, try some. I want to show them a picture of you doing some easy cooking. Yes. Uh, where are you in this picture? Ooh. I'm in. I'm at You're Loch, somewhere gorgeous. I'm off roading at Loch Long. It's uh, in. It's uh, just north of Glasgow. Okay. In Scotland. So, what were you doing there? I was given all this cool product: honeycomb, salmon, whiskey. I put it all together on the side of the road using a burner because you know I did it in Kashmir and I did yes. it in Peru. Yeah. So this time in Scotland with the most beautiful scenic background. Yeah. I just went there and I cooked up a meal for my friends, and no whiskey made it back home. Of course, none of yeah. it made it back home. Yeah. That's a beautiful experience, though. Really, I mean, really fortunate. Being able to travel the world and yeah. just sort of cook using using local ingredients. Thank you, chef. Um, it's such a nice way also to hone your skills as a chef. People think I'm special or something. I just double the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> we know that you're also special too, Deb.